Um, first and foremost, I'm going to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, with Yahweh Karkodash, which Yahweh's Heavenly Father's true name. Yahweh Shai is from the world, ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, that's his true name. And Rakakodash is the Holy Spirit. I'm also going to give double honors to the Apostle and the Elders of Great Millstone, who rule and teach well in the Scriptures. And salutations to all the brothers out there who push his word in all truth and all sincerity. And, and this lesson is going to deal with how Esau, even the so-called white man, how he defrauds a man of his wages, okay? And according to the law of the Bible, which we're about to get, when a man works, he's supposed to get paid the same day. But in this society, and how things are set up, through wicked laws and policies, a man, or whoever it may be, gets paid, uh, you know, usually every two weeks sometimes you know you might get paid you know uh the week uh, uh you know with the one week um time uh, uh frame but still all in all that's wicked you know some have to wait a whole month and then if you're you know perhaps waiting on a uh i guess you could say like a what do you call that uh you get like a lawsuit check you might be getting uh checks every so often all right you know, and that's just wickedness. Things are supposed to be paid, you know, immediately. All right? And, you know, I have a particular situation where my family and I are waiting for a check, which is a bulk of money. And we haven't gotten that check. And now, due to it, you know, being uh, uh, late, I'm late on bills and, you know... I have to pay, you know, uh, late fees, and also that, you know, hurts my my name, you know, hurts my credit, all that stuff, you know, that, you know, this system has set up, and with Esau, it's whenever, when he messes up, it's, you know, oh, well, you know, hey, I'm sorry about that, I, you know, just pat you on the shoulder, but if you, um, you know, ha have a situation going, you might, you know, be, um, you know, a little bit uh, uh, in a jam, you're immediately getting harassed and immediately getting fined. And, you know, there's no mercy, okay, with this man. And that's wickedness. You know, his policies really put Israelites, the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, in a hole, man. All right? And a lot of times he actually um, is at fault with things, man. Okay? Like I said, with my particular situation... I should have had this money all, all, all pretty much two weeks ago. And this check got lost in the mail. And now I'm behind on things. But, you know, through the spirit and power of Yahweh Hashem Shai, you know, my family and I are going to get, uh, you know, taken care of. And this is just, you know, a lesson learned and an experience. That's how I see it. You know, and I just got to fight through this. But, hey, all in all, basically all in all, you Edomites, man, you're, you're going to be judged on these, you know, uh, wicked crimes. And wicked acts that you uh, uh, commit, man. Alright. And we're going to start off. Uh, Isaiah 10 and 1. Woe well, unto them that decree unrighteous decrees. And that write grievousness. Grievousness which they have prescribed. And that's you Edomites. Alright. You're in the um, seat of uh, power right now. Alright. You're in the power seat. Okay. And you have the ability to write, you know, laws. And, you know, put them into effect. Okay? And all the laws that you write are unrighteous. Okay? You don't follow the law, statutes, and commandments of the Heavenly Father, which are righteous. They're just. Okay? And everything is fair in the scriptures. The things that you write into law are, 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 um, are first and foremost, unrighteous. They're cruel. You know, there's no mercy. All right? And that's why destruction is going to come upon you. All right? And it says, uh, this is Isaiah 10 and 2 now. To turn aside the needy from judgment and to take away the right from the poor of my people that widows may be their prey and that they may rob the fatherless. And that's what you do, okay? We're the poor and needy. You know, we're the fatherless. Okay? All right, you don't execute righteous judgment. You don't um, 
help those that are in need. All right? And I'm just speaking carnally as of now. But spiritually, you do this too, okay? You don't tell our people, the so-called blacks, Latinos, Native Americans, that they're the Israelites. You stripped us from our, our true nationality and you give us these slave names, okay? All these things are going to fall upon your head, okay? All this wickedness that you've, um, uh, that, that, that you do, and all these wicked laws that you created, all this stuff is going to come upon you one day. Everything's going to fall upon your head, all right? You're going to reap what you've sown, all right? And, um, from there I want to get, um, Jeremiah 22 and 13. This is Jeremiah 22 and 13. And it reads, Woe unto him that buildeth his house by unrighteousness, and his chambers by wrong, that useth his neighbor's service without wages, and giveth him not for his work. Okay? And that's uh, you Edomites, you so-called white people. You buildeth this kingdom by unrighteousness. Or you raped, robbed, and murdered everybody. All right? You stole everything. Alright, first you stole this land from the Native Americans. You deceived them. Alright, you 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 uh, uh, uh killed them, pushed them off to reservations. Okay, you um you uh, um uh, taking uh, uh the, the the so called blacks, okay, from West Africa. You know the tribe of Judah, Benjamin Levi. And put them into hardcore slavery. Alright. Built up uh, uh, your kingdom. Off of slave labor. And then even now. Okay. you, A lot of uh, our people. It's not documented. But a lot of people get. Uh, used in this system. Alright. They don't get paid at all. Sometimes, you know, sometimes they may get paid. But. You might give them. A, 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 a less of a paycheck. Than what you have agreed upon, all right, and that's because they might be a, a so-called illegal um, immigrants. You know they don't have, they don't have their proper documents, so you can take advantage of them, all right. All sorts of wickedness goes on, all right. You tax people, and that's that that's not even in the Constitution. According to your law, taxation, you know, uh, income, uh, what is it? Income tax is is uh, um, not even. Um, not even a, a federal law. That's wickedness. All right. That's wickedness. Hey, but you know you got hey, you starting with you elites. All this madness that 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 you've uh, created, it's gonna uh, fall. Okay. Once your Howard Shah comes back, it's done. It's over. Your reign of terror is gonna is gonna end very soon. Okay, now uh, getting into the law now, it says you're supposed to pay a man immediately, okay? When he works and he does labor for you, you need to pay that man. And that's only a righteous thing, okay? Because if he did it, you know, you a service, you, you should pay him. This is Leviticus 19 and 13. It says, Thou shalt not defraud thy neighbor. Neither rob him. The wages of him that is hired shall not abide shall not abide with thee at night until the morning. Okay? You 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 need to pay that man, alright? You need to pay that man once his services are done. Alright, once nightfall, you know, hits you, that man needs to get paid. Okay? You're not supposed to hold on to that until the morning. That's wickedness. What if that man needed that money, okay? He needed to buy uh, food. All right, he he had to pay off a bill, whatever it may be. Okay. That that that's wickedness that these Edomites do that to our people. Like I said, man, hey, this stuff is gonna come upon you. You're gonna have the worst captivity known to mankind, and you're gonna get no mercy, and that's because you show with no mercy. All right, this is Sirach 34 and uh, 21. It says. The bread of the needy is their life. He that defraudeth him thereof is a man of blood. And it says, 
He that taketh away his neighbor's living slayeth him, and he that defraudeth the labor of his hire is a bloodshedder. Okay? That's you Edomites. Since you've, you you uh, defraud a man of his labor, okay? You you uh, uh, um, um, take the bread of the needy. You're a bloodshedder. Cause that's really an act of war, man. Okay. That's really an act of war. And I, I and I'm gonna get a scripture because, what is that? It says the basic. Uh, it's like water, bread, um, I think shelter. Are the basic necessities okay? Yeah, the, it, what is it? No, 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 wrong scripture. Hold on, give me one second. Here we go. What is this? 29, 29 and 21. And it says, The chief, yeah, Sirach 29 and 21. The chief thing for life is water and bread and clothing and a house to cover shame. Okay? So when you take these things away from somebody, that's an act of war. Okay? These are the basic things of life. And this man, he'll, uh, um, he'll, uh, 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 um, what's the word I'm looking for? He uses his laws to, uh, restrict our people from getting these things, okay? You know, uh, you know, th th this payment system is wicked. The whole credit system is wicked. You have a lot of Jake out there. They have problems getting uh, a um, you know, a, a place of living because they may have had a situation happen when uh, they were younger, where you know um, their credit got messed up, and it could be two, three, four years later that still gets brought up when uh, when somebody uh, uh, um, looks into their background, man, or does a background check. Okay, they might not get a house because of that or or, or an apartment. That's wickedness, man. It takes so long to build a credit to make you, you know, uh, uh, your credit score very, you know, high and um, acceptable in this society. But it only takes a few moments for that credit to get destroyed. That's wickedness, man. That's why you Edomites are going into, f you're going into slavery. You're going into hardcore slavery for this wickedness, man. All right. This is madness. This is madness. When we're in this, uh, 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 when we get into the uh, the kingdom, when we, uh, when our kingdom is set up, all this wickedness is gonna stop. Okay. All this is gonna stop. I'm gonna get this scripture too. It's a good scripture. We're gonna get two more scriptures and end it out. This is Habakkuk, chapter one, and four. And it reads, therefore. The law is slacked, and judgment doeth never go forth. For the wicked doeth compass about the righteous. Therefore, wrong judgment proceedeth. And the law is slacked. The law of Yahweh Ba'ashim Shai. And judgment doeth never go forth. And that's because Esau, Edom, has changed everything. Okay? He made this planet out of course. Through his laws and his policies, he's really... Destroyed people, man. All right. Since the wicked are an authority, wrong judgment proceedeth. Okay, wrong judgment proceedeth. Um, I want to get uh, uh two more scriptures. Sorry, I I thought it was one more, but the spirit gave me another one. This is Daniel chapter seven. All right. Um. Yep, 7 and 25. Daniel 7 and 25. And it reads, And he shall speak great words against the Most High, and shall wear out the saints of the Most High. And that's what Esau Edom has done. He speaks against the Most High. He believes his ways are more proper than the Heavenly Father's. He thinks that he's going to upset prophecy. And that what he, whatever he thinks, that's the way it's gonna happen. All right, that's blasph uh, blasphemy, and the Lord's gonna uh, put an end to that madness. All right, and it says he shall wear out the saints. 
we're worn out. We're 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 we're, we're uh, uh being constantly harassed. We we uh have no uh rest in this place. All right, whether it be the cops, you know, patrolling your neighborhood, or whether it be you stressed out because you don't know how you're gonna pay your next bill. These are just a, a, a few examples of how he's worn us out. And it says, and think to change times and laws. All right, and this man changed the times. He doesn't follow the uh, 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 he the the lunar uh, uh, moon calendar. He follows the Gregorian calendar. He has a thing called daylight savings. That's changing the times. That's wickedness. And he's changed the laws. He doesn't follow what's written in these scriptures. Like I said, you know, this man has everyone getting paid for the most part every two weeks. Every two weeks. If an emergency happened and you needed your money right then and there, you can't even get it. Because you're going to have to wait two weeks or however long it may be. That's wickedness. That is wicked. That's why the Lord is going to give these uh, uh, this nation the greatest judgment. All these... Uh, 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 um, all these iniquities, all this wickedness that this man promotes, it is, uh, it's going to come upon him, man. It's going to fall upon his own head. And it's going to be a beautiful day when Yahweh Shah comes back to just put a foot in these motherfuckers' asses, man. I'm sorry, man. I didn't want to swear. I tried not to. I really tried not to so-called curse, man. But you just get really pissed off in this society, man. All right? Oppression make it the wise man mad. Every day we got to deal with this madness. Every day. I'm going to keep breathing. And they shall be given uh, into his hand until a time and times and the dividing of times. And the only reason why uh, Esau Edom is able to do these things is because Yahweh Shai, uh, uh, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, uh, gave uh, um, the earth to the wicked, okay? That red horse had um have power and to take peace from it. Okay. And um I wanted to uh end it off with this. This is James chapter two. I think it's two and thirteen. James two and thirteen. It says For he shall have judgment without mercy that has shown no mercy. And mercy rejoices against judgment. So for he shall have judgment without mercy. That has shown no mercy. You Edomites aren't going to get mercy in the kingdom. Okay. You're going to get brutal slavery. And after that you're going to get exterminated. Because if you are the wicked. You need to, to, to be uh, uh, wiped out man. Because if you stay around. You're going to try to find ways to uh, push forth evil in this uh, uh, planet Earth. And this and that can't be uh, it can't be pushed, man. No way. All right. And uh, for those who are listening, I hope this was edifying. And with that, I'm going to give all praise, honor, glory to Yahweh, Shimei, Shai. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And salutations to you brothers out there.